Hey guys, um, I'm coming at you with my May favorites. Um, I'm very excited about, or well, then, well my April May, sorry, ah, this top, I can't figure out how to wear it. I got it at Target the other day. Just that one. I like it. Um, my April May favorites. Yes, my April May favorites. Um, yeah. I don't know why my brain just did like a brain fart, but <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. So... I had planned on do been doing this, like, I wanted to do it Saturday. I had work all day. Sunday, work all day. Monday, work all day, home for 20 minutes, other job. Tuesday, work all day, home for an hour, other job. So today I was like, I'll do it. It's finally starting to get a little bit nice out. It is 7 o'clock at night. So. Okay, so my... April favorites, April May favorites, because I only, I'm, I decided not to do favorites every month like other gurus do, just because my favorites don't really change month to month. Thought I heard something. Um, not every month. So I'm just gonna do it like this. Um, I have my little box of favorites. Right here, it's actually a drawer where I keep all my favorites in. So it's pretty much a lot. And then there's some other things. So, um, yeah. Oh, and I don't even have to worry about how long this is going to be because I can, because YouTube put me, gave me like this little notification thing saying I can have videos longer than 15 minutes, which is awesome. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is a perfume that was in one of my recent hauls. I don't remember which one. I think it was the one that was called like Mall Hall or something, or like Hall from the Mall, I don't know. But it's the Bath and Body Works Carried Away. And just look at that packaging. Isn't it so pretty? Like, um, like you see, I haven't used a lot of it because, like, you only have to spray like one spritz and then it's on you for the whole day, so. Smells really good. It's like raspberry, vanilla, white jasmine, peach, something. Let me look. Let me tell you exactly what it is. It is raspberries, pear, white jasmine, and vanilla. And I keep it in the box so the smell doesn't get distorted. That's what the box looks like. It's just when I went to Bath and Body Works, I guess on my birthday, I smelled it and hated it because I don't know why. But and then I smelled it the other day. I was like, I love this. Like this is really good. So now I'm wearing it. I just love it. Okay. The next favorite before I get into my little drawer is a candle that I had in my last favorites. I just didn't show you what it was, I think. I'm not sure. but Or it's in one of my hauls, at least. It's a Yankee candle. It is in strawberry buttercream. And you can see I've used quite a bit of it. Like, I melt... I'm going to say this again. I always melt my candles. I don't burn them. I use um, a candle melter that looks like this. It's just a big, like metal plate thing that you put candles on and it doesn't burn things it just and it's easy and it's then you and you makes your candles last twice as long this smells like straight up strawberry buttercream oh why are you not plugged in i'm actually trying to turn it on right now and it's not working out there we go okay that's what she said okay so Another thing, yet again, every time, always, um, I don't know if you can tell, but I started to hit pan on that color that I use almost every day. Um, I'm not very close to hitting pan on any other colors, which is good. Some of them have got some serious dentage in them, but... Some of them I still haven't used at all. I'm One of my goals for the summer is to use every color at least once. Which I do by doing Neutral Color Pops. If you haven't heard of the Neutral Color Pop, go watch. Um, I know Blair has a video on it, Blair Fowler. I will try to find it and link it in the down bar. It's called like Neutral Color Pop using Spell Cosmetics or I don't know. But it's really good and it's just, it's such a fun way to do things. Like I've been doing it a lot. Like, you do neutral on the top and you put, like, I I did blue, I've done green, I've done purple, I've done pink. Um, 
stuff like that and it's really awesome. And since I hit pan on my favorite neutral color in there, I started using this quad. It's an Avon quad that I found in my house. I don't know what it's called. It's called Summer Quad W. Um, I can open it. It just looks like that. I've been using this color and this color. I don't really use these two as much, but oh, let's draw one. Can I just show you how nice these colors are? It's like I barely touch them. Like they're so pigmented, they're so nice. They're they're a little bit chalky though, so sometimes you get like a lot of like random chalk looking stuff on the actual makeup but never on like your eye. Um, the next thing what I've been doing the neutral color with the pop with is this Maybelline Eye Studio quad in Sapphire Siren. Um, I've been doing a lot of like these two. I've been doing this on the inside and this. I mean this one on the outer corner. These are also really pigmented. Not as pigmented as the other ones, but no. Little thing over here. Okay, so I have two, five nail polishes to show you that are my favorites. Okay, it's one OPI, three Sephora by OPI, and one Sinful Colors. Um, I'll start off with the OPI one. Actually, I'll start off with Sinful Colors. It is Sinful Colors Professional in Let's Meet. Shadow. Like that, see, it's um, it's just really pretty, like bright yellow. It's got kind of sparkly in it. It's got like gold sparklies or sparklies. I cannot believe I just said sparklies. I've been watching Eleventh Gorgeous way too much. Um, I should do a favorite gurus for. Oh my god, I'm totally doing that. I'm gonna do a favorite gurus video. And it'll be like Eleventh Gorgeous, Mac Barbie, Megan Hart's makeup, That Is Rad, A Marie, Blair L, and that's about it. <laughs> no, there's gonna be a lot. Um, I got this for like a dollar ninety nine at Walgreens, and I love it. Next is the regular OPI. It's in Princess Rule. It's just this really pretty pink with this like really pretty pink. It's just glitter. It's like really fine glitter, and it's like really, it's really pale. It takes a couple coats to get it to build up to a nice color, but it, it is worth it. It's so pretty. And the three Sephora OPI colors are Once a Cheetah, Always a Cheetah, which is the orange that was in my last haul. I've been wearing it almost every day since I got it. Mermaid to Order, which I'm wearing right now. It's really pretty. It's just like pretty like blue with green duochrome. And then, of course, the Gold Blasted, which is the Gold Shatter. Um, I like I like the Sephora by OPI Shatter better than the regular OPI Shatter because it's, like, creamier. Ow. It has the same smell, but it doesn't have a lot, the same amount of, like, buildup on the brush. You can see how the brush is still pretty clean. Yeah, and it's more liquidy. Those are all the nail polishes. Um, the next, I have two MAC products that I'm going to show you that are also in one of my recent hauls from May. They're a pigment and a lip glass, or a luster glass. There is golden olive pigment. It looks really gray. I don't know why it's looking gray, but it's just green. It's like an olivey green with like gold reflex in it. It's just really pretty. It looks really nice on my eyes. Um... And again, I'm a nerd, and I keep all of my MAC products in their boxes. Just, I, I think the packaging is so pretty. Like, I don't even know why. Um, and then it's Pink Hair at Luster Glass, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. This is, like, the lip gloss equivalent of Princess Rule. See how they're, like, almost the same color? Like, this one's a little bit lighter. But they look exactly the same on here. I'll put some on for you. And I like that it has, like, a brush applicator. Because, like, I've never had anything with that before. Um, I haven't been using it a lot because I'm trying to save it. Uh, but I wear it almost, but I wear it when I go out. 
like when I go out with my friends if we're going out out I love doing my hair like this too like big like loose curls with the side pinned back kind of like hippie oh another thing I'm loving are feather hair extensions they're like my obsess I just hit them and I won't be able to find them again after the, there um my ones that used to be white they're now purple because I put purple in my hair and then when I put the extensions back in they kind of turn purple which is fine I like them um, I've been obsessed, me and my best, me and my friend Al <sighs> Ashley have been obsessed with trying to find new ones. Um, we're going to order some off Etsy and we're going to put them in our hair uh, over the, when we're at the beach. My next thing, which is more for April and May, I'm not going to be wearing it at all this summer. Ah, oh, ew, I just exploded it. This feels really full, that's weird. Is the CoverGirl Nature Lux foundation. Um, I don't like wearing foundation in the summer or like powder or anything. Um, I'm trying to find a good tinted moisturizer, so if you have a good one, comment it. Um, in my color is 310 Flex. It's just... Oh, hip up. This, like, these, like, yellow straps are really bothering me. Because they're not, like, in line with the purple ones. I don't care. Oh, and I got this necklace at Charlotte Russe, and it's one of my favorites. I have another favorite necklace that I got at Charlotte Russe. I got it with this. It's the bird one, but I can't find it. Oh, I know where it is. It's downstairs. Crap. Okay. Next thing is... That's not beauty. Hold on. I'll do that one at the end. The Urban Decay Primer Potion that I finally got for the first time ever. And I just love it. Like, there's... I have no complaints here with this. Um... Kind of has like a painty smell. Um, the applicator is really nice. It goes on my skin really nice and it blends in like seamlessly. Um, I just really like it and it keeps my eyeshadow on all day. So, does very well. I haven't tried any of the other primers from this because um, I don't wear face primer ever. Um, oh, I forgot to get, I don't know, that'll be next, my next favorites. It's okay. I was going to do the Sonia Kashuk eye makeup remover because I can already tell it's a favorite because I've used it like three times and I'm already obsessed with it, but I have two mascaras, which are the Revlon Grow Luscious. I fell back in love with it. Um, I actually like what it does with my eyelashes. I like that it makes them look longer without making them look too full because I've been really into doing like natural looking eyelashes and nat like neutral eyes with like so that it looks like I'm not wearing a lot of makeup. Um, so this is just perfect. And then for more dramatic, it's I'm actually wearing it right now. I don't know if you can tell because the camera's not very HD like it's supposed to be. Is the Maybelline The Falsies in Black Drama. Um, that's just makes them long and full and just looks good. Um, the next is the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeliner in black, which I never use. I always use the Maybelline Define a Line, but I ran out and then I couldn't find it, so I just picked up this because I need a new black eyeliner and I fell in love with it. Next are NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencils. I'm obsessed with all of them. All the ones that I have, I have I think like eight or nine. But the three I use most are Milk, Strawberry Milk, and French Fries. They're my three holy grail pencils. Um, and like you could probably do without this. Maybe you can get by on these two. But just the strawberry milk. Like if you're doing like paint, like a pink look or even like a purpley look like this. I'm not wearing it today. But if you're doing like light, lighter purples. Perfect. Um, the last beauty product is Maybelline Shine Sensational Lip Gloss in freshly sliced. Um, it's really pretty. It smells delicious. I think it's like grapefruit or something. It's just perfect. Ew, I just got it on my nose. It's beautiful. I love it. And this isn't a beauty product, but it's the, um, the, uh, handy back, handy back? Pocket back. Bath and Body Works pocket back in fresh picked strawberries. <clears throat> it smells like straight up strawberries. I love it. Um, I've been bringing it to my new job with me because we keep hand sanitizer in our office. 